What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm here in the beautiful city of La Paz, Bolivia. And on this episode, I'm going to be taking you out into the field and showing you when it might be a good idea to use a telephoto lens for landscape style photography. So a question I get asked from a lot of new photographers is, what's my favorite lens for landscape photography? Or what's my favorite lens for portraiture photography and things like that? And I don't have an answer because I'm a, I'm a believer that a lens has multiple uses. You can use a lens like this 16 to 35 for landscapes, which is what most people use it for. But it's also fantastic for really cool street photography and portraiture photography, and especially environmental photography. And telephoto lenses are often seen for you know portraitures or wildlife photography and things like that. But in many cases, using a longer lens, a telephoto lens, will give you really dramatic landscape images as well well. So I'm going to flicker a couple images over the screen right now from Sedona that I shot earlier this year just to show you what I'm talking about. Sometimes with landscapes, using a wide angle lens can make that landscape look small. It can make everything look less dramatic than it feels and that can cause a problem. So this first image that you're seeing from um, from Sedona, I had that problem. I have this big, beautiful mountain in the background of the stream and it just looks tiny. So I did a switcheroo and I put on the telephoto lens to compress the background. And that's exactly what a telephoto lens does. It makes everything in the frame look bigger and it brings things that are farther apart closer together. So exa for example, in this photo, you have that waterfall at the very front of the screen. And if we look back at the first image that was shot on the wide angle, the waterfall looks really far away from the mountain. But in the telephoto image, the waterfall looks like it's right in front of the mountain. So it's compressing the whole scene into a, a shallower scene that looks far more dramatic. And that's exactly what I'm going to try to do here in La Paz, Bolivia tonight. And I haven't scouted this location, so I'm really not even 100% sure it'll work. But um, the scene over the city is absolutely unbelievable. The city itself is, is stunning. It's down in this valley. And then on the background, you have a huge mountain that's snow capped and glacier capped. And what I really want to do is rather than taking it all and making it look small and capturing everything with my wide angle lens, I'm going to put the telephoto lens on and I'm going to have it zoomed in and try to capture the downtown of La Paz with that mountain in the background. If I catch it at the right time of day, right at sunset, I might even get some glow on the mountain, which would be absolutely fantastic. So this is definitely one of those situations that uh, you, you might want to play around with using a wide angle lens or sorry, a telephoto lens, just to compress everything and to make everything look more dramatic. It'll make the mountain in the background look like it's right on top of the city. So let's go out in the field, um, climb up the hill, well, take a taxi up the hill because there's no oxygen up here and climbing is, is hard. Um, we're at like 4,000 meters where I'm gonna be taking the picture. So let's go up there, take the picture, um, and I'll probably take a wide angle image as well just to give you an example of the difference. And then, uh, yeah. We'll come back here and I'll jump on the computer and show you how they look. Let's go. So what is up? I am uh, I'm finally online again and, and filming this video. So right away, I just want to apologize for taking so long to get this video up and online for you. But I've been staying in dorms to save money for a lot of uh, a lot of this part of South America. So it's been a bit loud, and there's not a lot of places to go to. Uh, 
to record a video like this. So I'm sorry for the late upload and let's get into this, um, this image. So this is, this is my compressed image that I took from, uh, from the top there in El Alto in, in La Paz. And with the long lens, this was shot on the 70 to 200 millimeter F 2.8 lens. And if you're interested in that lens, I've got a link to it in the description of this video. Um, but this was shot at 100 millimeters, so not the entire uh, lens. But you can see what shooting a telephoto lens does when I show you the difference between this image and the one I shot on the 16 to 35 millimeters. So here you have the, the skyline, I guess, of La Paz, and you have the mountain in the background. And when you shoot a telephoto lens, you really get the compression that makes it feel like the mountain is right on top of the city, when in reality it's actually quite a ways away. So in fact, even if I would have shot a lower location, if I would have gone way farther down here, I would have probably gotten even better result. I would have had the buildings lower and kind of higher in the scene, making it look like the mountains really, really on the backdrop. But this was the only viewpoint I found that had a, a good angle that I could show you the difference um, between the telephoto and the wide angle. So here we have the telephoto, great light, uh, a really cool photo, I think. And it makes everything look more dramatic. It makes everything look bigger. So if we jump over now to my wide angle example shot at the exact same time of day, you can see whereas the telephoto has a way of making things look bigger than they are or more dramatic, more impressive, wide angle lenses tend to have a way of making things look way smaller than they are. You have this entire giant city in one frame and then that big mountain, that 6,300 meter something mountain, is it looks tiny. It looks really small on the screen. So using a telephoto lens brings that drama. Now, I guess the moral of the story isn't to use telephoto in one situation or wide angle in the other, but it's to take various shots. So. If you go later into the night, I used the wide angle for this image, which I quite like. This is at 35 millimeters, and you don't have that compression, but it's still a cool image. Um, again, later in the night, you have this image, which is at 25 millimeters on the wide angle, and looks really cool. I think it's a good image, but it does make the mountain look small. It makes the city look small. It makes everything look flat, when in reality, it's much bigger and much more impressive looking when you're there. So you take images like this with the telephoto to make everything look really big and really dramatic. Um, so yeah, that's exactly why you use telephoto lenses. It makes um, it makes everything look bigger. It feels more of the frame, especially when you're in, in flat-ish landscapes. It makes everything look just bigger and much more impressive, um, especially in this situation. But like I said, um, the moral of the story isn't just to use telephoto lenses, it's to use telephoto wide angle. It's to mix it up and it's to try different things out in the field to get different results and different images. If you go up to a place like El Alto and you shoot just one image over and over and over again, you're only going to get one image with different light. So go up there, shoot a different type of image, shoot a variety of images, and you never know what you'll come up with. Me, I love the telephoto look, and I'm finding that more and more I'm shooting telephoto images for landscapes, cityscapes, and things like that. The more I shoot, the longer lens I want, and I'm really, really noticing that. Um, anyways, if you jump over to my website, brendansadventures.com, and there'll be a link for this um, right here on the screen if you just click there. Uh, there is an article about this, the using a telephoto lens for landscapes and, and cityscape photos, which talks about this image more in depth. It also looks at the wide angle aspect. And then I even give you some other examples from around the world of images I shot on a long lens, a telephoto, rather than a wide angle lens. So head over there to brendansadventures.com and check that out. And yeah, that's really it for this, this episode, this episode of getting the shot here in La Paz, Bolivia. Um, I've got some more videos coming up. I promise they're going to be coming quicker than the last one did. There's not going to be another two week wait. I promise you that. Um, this week, I've probably got another video coming from the uni, um, the Salar de Uni, which is the world's biggest salt flat, and then crossing the Altiplano in Bolivia. So that is an awesome trip. And there's going to be lots of cool photos from that trip. And then I'm off to Argentina after that. So be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe 
stay subscribed to the channel. Lots of really fun stuff still to come. So I'll catch you next time. It's been, been fun. Peace.